Lots of folks on here. Good evening. Is it Sunday? Good Sunday night. Live from JTH Construction Studio. Just me tonight. Everybody's out and about doing their thing. How we doing, folks? Well, real quick. Hello, Mike, John Jones, Jerry Hickey, Bill Martin. What's up, Hunter D? Bruce McKee. What's up, Bruce? Michelle Alex or McDonald, Lori Parson. How how we doing tonight? It is Sunday, day after Christmas, and we're in that weird holiday mode where Christmas, New Year's. Good to hear, Mike. We don't know what day it is or what time it is. I'm actually off tomorrow. Start the week on Tuesday, which I'm not. Bill, I did. I hope you did as well. Hope everybody out there did. I posted a little bit earlier. I've been watching uh, BAM. Big changes coming weather-wise. Thank you, Lori. Appreciate that. Same to you, dear. Big changes coming weather-wise. They said maybe mid, maybe as the New Year's clicks in or a little bit after. Hello, Miss Haywood. Watching my phone more than the computer. But we kind of expect that it is Indiana. It is soon to be January. We could get some snow, cold temperatures. I look at it this way. We get into January, we're six, about 60 days away. Hello, Kim. Bill, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Very sorry to hear that. Hello, Caroline. How are we doing tonight? Hello, Sarah. Lots of folks on. I figured there would be. A lot of people are off this coming week. Um, or at least off some days this week. I think I'm off Monday this week and Monday next week. I don't know how we pulled that, but it is what it is. I'll take it. We'll take these temperatures and the weather for right now. We'll survive. Busy holiday for Porch Time and the crew running down to Kentucky. And I've been saying thank you to numerous people. Bill Martin was one. He he provided gifts for us. Kim did. Kim. I kept one, Kim. Kim made these. And I, I will uh, take it out of the bag. I, I kept one. I'll keep it in the bag. Maybe you guys can see this. But I thought these were really cool. 2021 Kentucky Strong. Little elves on the shelves. But I wanted to keep one here in studio. Maybe give it up when we go down again here. Um, yeah, very sorry to hear that, Bill. Mike is stating also. But I thought that was very cool of her, too. Very sorry to hear that, Leslie. Dan Terrell, there's another one. Hello, Leanne. I thought those gifts are pretty cool. We sent a box of those down that Kim had provided and just um, snuck them in with all the supplies. We thought that was that was um, pretty neat of her to do. She never even told us she was doing that. Kim's a good folk. I've known her a very, very, very long time. And I appreciate that she knows it. Our group is still working, uh, still planning another trip in January. Um, we have we have some big news on that, and, and I'm I'm not at liberty to get into it. I know you guys think I run this show, but I really don't. They just shove me out here because I'm the loud mouth, and they're like. Well, hello, there is the ro lovely and talented Rose O'Neill. Rose, how you doing, dear? Did you have a Merry Christmas? Miss seeing that face and hearing that magical voice. Rose, if you notice, I think I'm going to grow it out. I was, I was told. 
He hits the nail on the head. They want a front man with good hair. And I'm it. Hunter D put me to shame down in Kentucky. He's got hair past his shoulders. And I was kind of given a challenge to grow mine out to that length. And they're like, you, you got, at 54, you got good hair. Why not use it? <laughs> listen, listen to him. He knows this is this is just for. There you go, Savannah. She she was on it. He knows this is best for radio. Rob Helms, how you doing, sir? Hope you had a great Christmas, Savannah. You're the best. I'm good. Christmas didn't feel like a holiday this year. I agree. Oh my goodness, there's Chris Debetsky from upstate New York. Hope you're doing well, Chris. Hadn't heard you in a while. I hadn't heard from you in a while. So my old buddy from the Army. He's a good man. Merry Christmas to you, Chris, and your family. Hope things are well in upstate New York. I saw your Vikings lose today, so go for you. Might want to ride down Kentucky with you guys in January. That, that, that's what's the possibilities. Just depends, Bill. We may end up just going in this group. Um, a, lot, a lot goes into getting down there. A lot of logistics and where we're going and who we're going with. Rob, we need to get together anyway because I'm ready for some music in here on Mondays and star searches and things like that. There's another one, Brad, Mikey Rowe. How we doing? Savannah says grow it out. So, Rose, I'm being... <laughs> she comes back with that. Rose, I'm being forced. See? It's you and Hunter with long hair equals porch time dream team unstoppable. Don't let CB hear that. They wanted me to do the beard long, and I was like, ah. Any fun ideas for porch time? We have a lot of things. Um, one thing I will tell you we're working on, uh, this is Bethany and I more so. We're getting our website up. We've been in contact with the web designer. <laughs> Look at that right there. January 10th is return of Music Hour Monday, and I cannot freaking wait for that. You know how many people stop me on the road on that and say, dude, I saw this show or that show or that show or this show? Even guys I work with, they love it. They love it. They, people love that show. We will continue with the Thursday night Hour of Hope um, once we get through the holidays. It was just fitting. We did one show and then a thing. <laughs> then the, the, the tornadoes popped up and we had to move on that. Too late. I'm here. <laughs> See, Corey? That's Savannah. Savannah's wanting me and Hunter in here with the long hair dream team. She challenged me to grow my hair out. So I, I may have to skip, um, not skip, I will still raise money for the uh, St. Baldrick Shave for the Brave come March. But I'm thinking giving it one more good go, letting it just all grow. I got to trim it up, though, as we move along. And that way Rose can really say, man, that hair's looking good. So, Rob, I'm excited. January 10th, boom. That's not far away, CB. Got to get an intro song. We got to get Billy on that intro song. He's supposed to be working on something. I don't know if he's working on that or just sitting and scratching on the couch. What's up, Jack? I know we've got, we're working on our website and we, I've uh, we talked to, the, uh, he sent me some information yesterday. Um, that's fantastic. Let me finish this and I'll get to what Rob said. You, you'll be able to watch the shows. Like, when we're live here, the minute we're finished, it kicks it to our webpage. So you'll be able to watch it here or on the webpage. Um, I think we'll have a blog section. I think we'll have an interaction section. We're trying to make it as fan-friendly as possible and have fun with it. So I'm excited about the webpage. There'll be a lot of spots for sponsors. And I'm telling you now, don't wait around on that because I got people contacting me already. We are going to announce in January all the concerts that we have scheduled. And he's got... I'm not kidding you. I don't know how that... I think he's got a clone because that dude's got concerts all over the state. Much love from Iowa, Michelle. We just don't want a blizzard. Keep him out there. Th Kevin, thank you and Corp for putting on the porch time. Dan, I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you doing what you did for us. There's my neighbor, Ike. What's up, buddy? There's Joe Clendenna. How we doing, Joe? So we've got... I could have a mullet by the St. Paul's. Possibly, Corey. Uh... Yeah, I don't. I don't want a mullet. I, I, I just. I. I. I don't look good with the mullet. I, it, you can't help this, and a mullet doesn't work. So, 
There's Jeff Price, our Lebanon connection. How we doing, Jeffrey? But yeah, I'm gonna let it grow out. I'm gonna let it grow out so Savannah can uh, giggle at me and laugh at me, and Rose can giggle at me and laugh at me and come on here when I'm live and go, Kevin, the hair looks good. So, and I got a daughter that's getting ready to graduate this week from Cosmo. So, I mean, it's set up. Asked my dad about the mill. He did. He did. Yes, he did. Been, it, it, yeah, it hasn't blizzard yet, but I think it's coming. <laughs> now you got, now you got Steeler fans on here telling me to grow out a mullet. Oh, you guys would rip me, Colton. I know you would. <clears throat> That's hilarious. I'm gonna let it grow. I do need to trim it up because it gets. You don't understand, I'm all for long hair. Davis was down past his shoulders until he made it out of school. Thank you, Leslie. Porch Time Long Hair Club. Uh, what's up, Jeff? Hello, Tracy. Corey, we got to start growing our hair out is what Savannah's telling us. So I'm, I'm on a mission. And mine, do, mine does grow quick. I give you that. I'm a, I've already started putting gel in it again, and I'm... <laughs> JV, time to sign off. Oh, she's out of control tonight. She's all over it. I think it's... That hair is overrated. There you go. All right. Corey had a mullet in high school. CB, Merry Christmas, Brian. Thank you, sir. Corey, did you have a mullet in high school? I, and I was thinking, I've kept my hair chopped short. This is this is gonna sound bad since like eighty November of eighty five when I went in the military. Bill's gonna get a toupee. There you go. <laughs> Corey, yes, I did. Hello, Tracy. Call him out. He's saying he did. Big bold type. I got 1883 on DVR. Nothing. We're just chit chatting and having fun, enjoying the the uh, El Ronda in, in in the uh, time between New Year's and Christmas. Thanking pe thanking people that helped us out through the event as always. Somebody sent Corey, and I know who it is, a box of 32 count cupcakes and Twinkies, and they're in studio in here, and I have not touched them. I have not gotten into Yellowstone yet. I have not watched a single episode of that yet. I don't know why. I, and I was started to, and then Tim McGraw got involved, and I don't know about y'all. If you don't, you don't know the real deal about Tim McGraw, it it irked me. He uh, he's not a fan of the two A. And. Um, Mm. He's not a fan of a 2A at all. Yet the hypocrite goes on shows like this. And then I can't get started on this because I'll go on this all night. And my saddle gets shut down and they'll blame Beth and boot her and, and I'll be a bad. <laughs> Yellowstone is done well. I like Kevin Costner. I do like Kevin Costner. Always have. Nothing wrong with my long term, but my short term sucks. At least you got it. Sometimes... Yeah, both of them, Michelle, went a little uh, too far to the other side, for my opinion. Yeah, 18, 18, well, hello, Juanette in Texas. How you doing, dear? How are things down, way down there by Dallas? Jeff, hello. Yeah, 1883 is, is the one he's in. But yeah, it was, um, I still may watch Yellowstone. Hopefully he doesn't get involved in that. But I do like Kevin Costner. And, and I mean, I've seen a million clips. So. I want to wrestle Rip. Jerry Scott. How we doing, sir? 
What up? What up? How are things down in Texas? Is it nice and warm down there? Wasn't it this time last year when you guys were freezing your gazuntas off? Or about this time? Or was that a little later in January? Yeah, from what I've seen, Rip, you don't want to mess with. I think Corey, if you get him a hat, if you get Corey a hat, he's got the beard. Good evening. Everything is good here in Texas. That's good to hear. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. If you get Corey a cowboy hat and some shades, I, I, I think he's got the Rip thing down. I've told him to come here. I told Corey I told Corey to come in here in a leather jacket, leather vest, just a leather vest. Yes, exactly. Cor what's Corey saying there to Mr. Scott? Hang on, I'm I'm missing stuff. You guys are zipping past me. Never seen Yellowstone. We need to meet as soon as possible. Boss is in is uh, out of commission for a while, as you probably know. But as soon as she gets back, Rob, we can gladly do that. Uh, Michelle has a cowboy. Cannot wait to see Main Street Band Isaac family at Tom Filler on New Year's Eve. That ought to be fun. It was in the eighties yesterday. Today, our freeze was back. In, oh, okay. Our freeze was back in February. Hopefully, we won't have to replay that. Yeah, you don't need to go through that again. That was insane for you guys. We've been in the 40s and 50s and 60s here the last week, and it's been nice. Yeah, she won't be around until the new year. Hello, Sandra. But, I mean, if we have to go, uh, if, you, if we need to do it center, Rob, we can always zoom her in. Or, or uh, put her on the phone in. I know the Isaac family, they're awesome. Cowboy hat, cowboy hat got in Houston. Review on my list of advice is leave town. See, I don't watch it, but I see enough from you guys and on TikTok and other things to know that Rip is, uh, is the um, muscle on the show. I might have to go see if the fish are biting. Probably are. <clears throat> Rob, I'll, I'll put you in a group text. Or I'll, I'll, I'll message you with a few of us. That's good to hear, Jerry. Now, where there is something going on at the Brick House for New Year's Eve. There is something at Tom Fiddley on New Year's Eve. I don't know yet where I'm, I may be right here. I might just be. Didn't we do it last year? Or didn't I just do it right here at midnight last year? And said Happy New Year. I didn't go anywhere. I think I had the TV on, which I can't stand watching those shows. I'll probably be live from right here. But I know the brick house has something going on. 67 tomorrow. Legion $10 at the door. I might just go down to Legion and go live. What do you think of that? 67 tomorrow, Colton. The guy could get 18 holes of golf in with that kind of weather. Year before, I was at the brick house. I wasn't there last year, I don't think. I don't think I did much of anything last year for New Year's Eve. On New Year's Eve, you're running outages? Let's hope there's none. Hello, Nicholas. Yeah, but I think Cor I should get Corey a cowboy hat and some shades and have him come in. Michelle, I had to, I had to check myself on that one. Get Corey some shades and a cowboy hat and have him just walk in here. Toothpick in. I think I think he can pull it off. 
I can walk up with Legion. I could. I could. Hello, Katie. There you go, Corey. <laughs> Corey Rip Baker. There you go. Corey's a gentle giant, but don't get him fired up. I've seen him fired up. That's a big man. He he wears his heart on his sleeve. He'll go down and do a tornado video and shed some tears and and hundred percent real. And then if you fire him up, he'll put his cowboy hat on his shades and take you to the train station from a little Yellowstone there for you. I have seen enough of that. I'm your Huckleberry. Hello, Katie. We do have some stuff coming up. And as Rob said, I'm so glad they have got the highway done. I, I agree. I was out on the west side of town, west side, a little bit ago, and the bypass is back to normal. I was like, what is this? Bypass. Not at all, Jay. I agree. I want to see Corey come in here looking like Rip. I used to have a couple, believe it or not. I, I used to live in Texas when we was kids, and then um, I was stationed down at that end of the world for a while in the military. Got to take a little bit to figure out the roundabouts. That is... <clears throat> <clears throat> That's the only thing that kind of scares me is because uh, this area is not used to roundabouts, and the roundabouts are right coming in and off the interstate. I hope somebody doesn't make a mistake there. You get caught getting him a cowboy hat and... with all kinds of smiles. There you go. Just take your time on the roundabouts. There are lots of good signage from the ones that I've seen. I've rode with a certain officer around here up and down it. And uh, they're well marked. It's going to take some getting used to. <coughs> Hello, Joni. But we've got. Didn't you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't either, Jerry. At all. <laughs> JB, I'm not reading that back. <laughs> How about a fat husband? Rumor has it the state of Indiana plans to return third down bypass to two lane with the center turn lane. Why, if so, I say wait until the road is. I I have not heard either one of those, but I wouldn't doubt it. Kenny. So January tenth, music our money comes back. Uh, <laughs> how are you, saying, you ain't kidding. Uh, all right, this is from JB Rose. You need to you need to keep. Keep him in his place. He's getting out of hand. A cowboy hat is like a fat wife. They keep you warm in the winter and shade in the summer. So, oh uh, boy, you guys are you guys are you guys are wanting to get stretched out tonight and slapped around. <clears throat> so we got music our money coming back. We're working on our website. I cannot wait for that. We got some new sponsors coming online. Um, <laughs> JP Rose is firing back. I didn't, I don't know. <laughs> Buckle up. Oh my. That's funny, Rose. Also, our teasing way between South Elementary School and Grand Valley. You haven't heard of anything with street lighting? Yeah, I wish it was lit up back there. Uh, we have large hands in her family. Hello, Todd. Oh, you guys are you guys are killing me tonight. Buck, you buckaroo. I can't wait for some of the stuff we got coming up. As Rob said, we'll be announcing all the concerts. Hello, Christine, and he's got a million of them. <clears throat> he's already done the fair concert, and that's I can't wait for that. That is going to be awesome. I forget. Rob, when's those tickets go on sale? You get those tickets fast. Sell this place out this summer. We can pack them in there. I like that venue the way that he has it set up now. Well, I I like the grandstand, but this is a better setup. 
<clears throat> exactly. Rose is hyped to play with Big Country. That'll be fun. Rose, Miss Senior around here. We got M Money Music Hour coming back up. We'll have to sneak you in here. Have to talk to Rob. Try to get you in the door again. That's all I'm saying. I've told her on countless times this is always open. If she ever just wants to come down here and play some music. All fired up. April 2nd. Thank you, JB. Looking forward to that. It's going to be a... We're going to get through this mess. We're going to get through this mess that we're in right now, and we're going to have a good summer. I would love to come in and talk about 22nd plans. 22 plans. I would love for you to do that, too. The rodeo... Needs to be two nights. The clown was hysterical. The rodeo. We need to cover that. I can play the AMF like nobody else. Fortune <laughs> uh, needs to cover that rodeo. They got to me late. Who's ever in charge of that this year? Get a hold of me early, and let's set dates so I know. Because I uh, I have not been to a rodeo in decades, and I want to go live from that place and right where the action's at. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up this year. We're going to stick with the Monday Music Hour. We're going to stick with the Hour of Hope on Thursdays. So we have cool stuff coming in. I'm going to bring pastors and preachers in from around the county and area. Uh, Larry Ralph will come in and out every now and then. I enjoy working with him. He is an amazing human being. We could sit here and talk politics all night. <coughs> we have a radio clown in here right now. Oh, Jay, I want to. I fully intend to. There you go. Corey could wear his new cowboy hat. I may wear my cowboy hat. Well, I have to get find mine, dig mine out, and find my boots. I had a very expensive pair of boots at one time. I had bought down in Houston, Texas. We did dance at Gillies. We're all those of you that know a little bit about two-stepping. I'm just saying, I used to do it. Where is Billy? Billy is probably at home sitting on his couch complaining that he's got something to do. Do we call him? Do we call Billy live? You know what? Here at Porch Time, we roll the dice. Sometimes, and I'm sure he's going to answer the phone with something perverted and get me in trouble, but. Please don't say it. Hello? You're live on porch time. Hi. Like Kelly asked where you were, and Corey said he's home oiling his beard. Oh, my gosh. Are you, are you, are you training for the new star search? Got drunk and jumped on a milk cow back and didn't need a cowboy hat. There you go, Jerry. Billy's probably working on new ads for Billy's Beard Oil for 22. You know we need an intro for Monday Music Hour. Are you working on that? I, I'm just no practicing in case I'm ever called upon. <laughs> no, we need an intro video for Monday Music Hour. I've told you that. First down. No, not sports. Monday music hour. Your fans are asking where you've been. So I have fans. Gary, did you hear that? I have fan. 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 One. It was it was Kelly. One. Kelly's uh uh. You're live. Uh uh. No. No. You're not Rodney Carrington. Uh all right. 
<laughs> I had a, no, all right, this is going nowhere. I'm gonna hang up. <laughs> no, I called to see when you're um, a you're gonna be back on porch time, and B are you are you are you gonna be participating in events? Corey's laughy face. Jerry said hi, Bill. What's up, Jerry? Jerry Scott. Yeah, man. I've just been I've been in, on a new, uh, <laughs> oh, new album. You're full so, of sheets and pillowcases. Producers are all over me, but like, because I can get it knocked out, man. I, I have you recorded on air now saying that. I was just singing the song to Carrie. <laughs> no. All right, you're sorry we're 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 losing reception. <laughs> so we didn't do that this year. I blame you. I could have done that. Man. I, I had him dialed in. I mean, uh-oh. Boss is calling you. All right, we'll holler at you later. All right. Bye. That went better than I thought it would. I was worried. I was extremely worried. Answer. Or make a lewd comment right off the bat. <clears throat> I'm glad he didn't. <clears throat> we'll get him back in here. Eventually. But anyway, we got some fun stuff coming up. 2022 will be upon us. New Year's Eve, I don't know if I'm going to be anywhere. Loose cannon. There you go, JB. He is a loose cannon. Thank you. Glad somebody said it. You have to put restraints on a guy like that. I do not know if we'll be anywhere New Year's Eve or not, but if not, I will be live here. <sighs> yeah, Timmy's probably 9.30. Heck, he's probably going to bed. He's one of them early risers. That for help. See, B's like me. He stays awake 24-7. But just remember, with everything we have in our means right now, it's, it's, you want to go out and have a few drinks, go ahead. I don't blame you. Hello, Debbie. But you have so many options now to not drink and drive. It's, there's no, no reason to do so. So as we inch closer to New Year's Eve, you got Ubers, you got taxis, you got friends, you got everything in the world. A hundred percent on those three. You got every option in the world. Did anybody get me underneath the mistletoe? I'm too quick for him, Bill. Way too quick for him. Wide awake working on my desk. I, I, well, Corey's always working. You got every option available. You available to you. you Want to go out and tie one on with your buddies? And not drive. That is the that is the key. I don't care what you do. Just be safe and everybody comes home. Uh, no sense in it any anymore, you know? And hopefully this New Year's will New Year's Eve will go smooth and everybody gets to come home and wake up the next day. Not in jail or the hospital. That's the scary thing about New Year's Eve. They didn't have Ubers and things like that growing up. Now they do. Take advantage of them. I'm, I, I hate to be preaching, but that always worries me. New Year's Eve. That's a lot. A lot of times, that's why I stay home. I'm like, I don't want to go out. A, I don't want to drive. B, I don't want to fight the drunks driving. I haven't been under the mistletoe for a while, Bill. They'll get you in trouble. 
we are planning another trip in January. Um, got a lot of the logistics end of it to work out and where we're going and how we're going to get there and things like that. And that is something that Larry and Tim are working on. Uh, actually, tonight as we speak, they were communicating back and forth. Hello, Annie. We have some big news on that coming up. We do need to hang one in the studio next year, Corey. I haven't even thought about that. But we could sneak one over the door right there. Big old thing of mistletoe. We, we need a mistletoe cam. Set one up downstairs or outside and outside downtown, and have a remote cam click into. Jerry, a hundred percent with that. So yeah, January's going to be busy. Weather, weather approving of, uh, weather permitting. Um, from what it. That would be fun, Joni. I agree. The mistletoe cam. You get caught underneath the mistletoe. You got to get that. You got to deliver that kiss on air. And it can't be some little peck on the cheek. It's It's got to be a full-fledged lip lock. Turn the kid's eyes. Family show, Kevin. I understand. Where we're staying home to be safe. I get it. A lot of times I do the same. I think last year I was live during New Year's Eve right here. I don't think I had... CB, I think you... <clears throat> I can't remember. I don't think we went anywhere. Roller coaster camera. We're, we're going to do some fun stuff like that this summer. We threatened to... Uh, Go out on the road on the weekends and hit different spots for different things. We may do that. It is late in the game now. We can't do it this year. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to set something up for next year, though. We're gonna work on that. We'll figure something out. And and I can see Billy doing the old belt buckle mistletoe. That's not happening, Billy. Nice try. Not working. We're not gonna allow that here. Michelle's going to bed on us out there in Iowa. God bless you all out there. Stay safe. Keep the snow out there. Love you guys. All the way out in Iowa. Let's see, let's see, we've had Texas tonight. We've had New York. We've had Iowa. That's what it was. I didn't, I, I didn't, didn't want to say y'all were sick, but I think you had family that was sick. I remember correctly. I cannot wait for Monday Music Air in the Stars Search competition. Yeah, it's eight o'clock out there. She's going to bed early. Second season of Star Search. That's this is going to be. We're going to have some fun with that. We're going to try to do two a year, if I remember correctly, last time we spoke. First half of the year and second half. Ooh. If we can get people to volunteer. Got to get contestants. Corey, this room's still a mess. I straightened up a little bit today. Uh, but man, it is. I still got a lot of stuff going on in that corner over there we need to get rid of. Not get rid of, but move to the new location that we're taking that to. And there's a big box of Twinkies and cupcakes sitting over there for you. Logan did break into them and took two. He said, just tell him somebody else did it. He's going to know. Lots of new things coming up. we got some different sponsors. Some big sponsors coming up. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for the new year. I'm going to try to stay positive. I'm going to try to avoid politics altogether. Oh my goodness. We could talk for hours. Speak of a devil. Kelly pops up.
Thank you so much for the gift, Kelly. That's what it was. Katie just said, you were live last year, and you played the game drawing, and people had a guess. Well, we may have to do that again. I don't know who's going to be in it. Corey, you got plans? Maybe I can talk Billy. Me, you, and Billy, we can draw. We got our boards. Have to find them. That's exactly what it was. Thank you, Katie. Then we can track down some gift cards. Five or ten of them. We can do our second annual New Year's Eve drawing contest. That's hilarious. But I don't think we ran until midnight. Hey, if we do the drawing game on New Year's Eve, are you coming over? You want to be a part of it? What's up, Ricky? DJ Billy. Remember last year, Katie refreshed my memory. The drawing game we did last year, we got to draw something and they have to they have to figure it out what it is, and we, they win a prize. It's back there. It's back there behind the coffee pot stuff. Ah! It's from the husband. That's awesome, Kelly. Tell him thank you. Got plans and don't want to miss that party. Lost a few in the family this past year, and it's going to be on them. Corey, if if all I have is this on and this on, you know what's going to be right there. 100%. Maybe we can have Billy come, Billy come in and uh, play some music for us. On, like, like other people all have, you know, bands and stuff playing. We're going to have Billy come in. And play songs for us. <laughs> I wonder that, Kelly. He's supposed to play a free concert that night at the front doors of Kroger, but he'll try to make it. Rose has to work tomorrow. She's signing off, sadly. Always a pleasure, Rose. Hope all is well with you and your family. And um, we will chat soon. You know the door is always open, dear. Just give me time to fix my hair. That's all I'm asking. Billy, you got to come in on New Year's Eve and play music now. It's, it's set. Heck yeah, Billy O. Billy's got to come in on... If he's got to come in on New Year's Eve and play music, or if he if he dogs us, Duke, Duke Tomato, yeah, there you go. If he <laughs> if he dogs us, he has to make Billy Ostrombolis as many as we ask for. So we're putting the hammer down on him. New Year's Eve. Rose, ignore him. Uh, do a duet. No. No. She, she's not. No. That is a negative. That is a one. Who liked that? Uh, if someone's liking that. I'm booting them off the site as soon as I find my mouse. Where's my mouse? Who is that? JB and Kelly. No. You both are gone. Don't encourage him. No. That is not happening. Hopefully Rose is, has logged off. I've heard I've heard his songs. You don't you don't No. Who else? Corey. The Strombolis were good, Jay. A hundred percent. Billy O I'm gonna I'm gonna headline that. Billy O's live. I'm going to make a flyer and everything live from porch time, New Year's Eve. No, I can't do that because there's so many events going around. Um, Legion and Brickhouse on Main and Tom Fillory. You know what? I may just try to hit all three of them that evening. 
Make a stop at all of them. Say hey. And then come back and go live around 11 o'clock. 11.30. <clears throat> what do you think of that? You can't be in all three places at once when the ball drops. Billy can follow me with his guitar <laughs> and play intro music as we walk in. I don't watch any of that crap on the network stuff, Billy. You know that. I could care less about that stuff. Lots of good music here. Yes. It does sound fun. I don't know what's going on. I'll have to hit. I certainly want to hit Brick House and Tom Fillery and the Legion. Maybe, maybe go live briefly on the phone at each of them. Might need an Uber by the time I get that. Because I will not drink and drive. All right. 47 minutes. Got about 13 minutes left. Before I call it a night, don't forget, January 10th, said live on here tonight, Monday Music Hour, Rob Helms said it tonight. We're starting back up. Star Search will be starting starting back up, Billy. There's the perfect opportunity. You step on the stage, form three songs, and go for the win. I mean, you're going to have the support of the Porch Time people, so you may win that. There you go. Jay's setting you up. He's got a laser and smoke machine. And pyro. Wow. Billy could come on and be involved in star search and, and just dominate the stars. He could come on here and sing. Dude, if you came on here and sang tequila for star search, I think you would win the first. I think you would automatically win. I think you would be, I, we would gold ticket you into the finals. There he is. Yeah, man, Patrick have been playing. Oh, they played the other day. Well, I, t I work with Willie Stanton, who Tiny was his grandpa, and I know he knows that recipe. And I know somebody else knows it, too, in their family. You didn't submit the vi video to me, because I would have pushed it forward. You didn't submit it to Beth. You submit a video and we'll make sure that it goes it goes through. Three songs. Can you come up with three songs that are A P G? Nope. <laughs> And this is why we can't have him on. This is why we can't have him. I think they can. I think I've spoke to Willie about it before, Jerry. Pretty sure that they both um, know how to know how to make it happen. I have to talk to him this week. Through the good old days. I tell the story. I came home on leave one time. It was big O's at this point in time. But I froze a pizza the first day I got home. And ate a full pizza throughout the day. And took that frozen pizza back to Germany with me in my duffel bag. I'm not lying. And ate that thing when I got back to Germany. 
That is not a lie. Back then you could do that stuff. You sneak the box in your back. <clears throat> I took that out moments before we left for the airport. I, I, it didn't matter to me. I didn't care how cold or hot it was. I ate it when I got back. Shared it with one of my roomies. Billy, you got to do it. You got to come up with three stars and come on Star Search. That's all there is to it. Eight minutes and we'll call it a night. Uh, tomorrow's Monday. I don't know who's got it off. I'm going to be around all day. I got stuff to do around here. Um, I'm actually off. We got some big stuff coming up. Do not forget, we have a web page coming online soon. If you're interested in being a sponsor, Now's the time. Um, videos, we will have something set up. When, when I'm done, when I click load here to Facebook, that video is automatically going to go to um, our web page. So in that web page, I can have all the sponsors I want on there, let alone the sponsors online here. We're going to have different sponsors online here. Some different ones. I shouldn't say different. But new ones. Got some big things coming. It just takes time, folks. We, we're still going to go back to Kentucky in the month of January, weather permitting. We have some huge news on that. Um, before it was on, I would ask him, but as a group, we haven't decided yet on whether we want that loose yet. But it's when you hear it, it'll just amaze you. And we've known about it for a few days. And we're blessed. We're blessed to be in the spot that we're in to work with some of the people that we do. I'll just tell you that. And it's just another example of um, kindness that people show, especially in, in the face of tragedy and, that went on in Kentucky. Or like, don't say anything, don't say anything, don't say anything. I can hear him. If I was going to bring it up, I would have I would have said it right off the bat when we had like 35 people on. Guys, I want to tell you this. And there's only 15 or 6 to be on now. We appreciate if there's Corey. <laughs> we appreciate you guys. Um, it means a lot to us that you tune in each and every time we're on air. Sometimes it's around 20, but by the end of the week, there's 1,000 or 1,500 that watch it. Our sponsors watch that stuff. Rob Helms watch that stuff. They know. Um, I think last month or this month, we're close to 80,000 views. We're... Oh, that's an old... I'm just, I'm just scanning and talking. Some of the graphics and in, in detail they get into, it's amazing. But we we're, we're over eighty thousand people in a month has watched our videos um, from a while back, and 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 there you go. There's some stars, and whoever did that, Diana, thank you so much, dear. God bless you. Woohoo! So, uh, we appreciate you guys, and um, and we mean that wholeheartedly. Believe me, none of this stuff. Kentucky or fundraisers or anything like that doesn't happen without you guys. And when other bigger people, big money gets involved, they've heard of us thanks to you guys. They know they can trust what we do thanks, thanks to you guys. And that's how it happens. And without you people in this community and surrounding areas, we can't do what we do. Because I could get on here 24 hours a day What's up, Tim? And run my mouth. And if nothing happens, no one jumps on, no one no one logs on or participates or gets involved with us. It goes nowhere. There's Derek. What's up, buddy? So deep thank you from us to you. <clears throat> what you allow us to do is what we pulled off in Kentucky. And everything else that we do. 
and it's it's amazing. I I, I literally about any store I go into now, <clears throat> or any any area here in town I get, and I and I'm not being mean. I may not know them, and they'd be like, "Hey, I watched a show the other day, and I thought it was funny when JB and you or JB and Corey or Rob and and that's so good to hear. That's so fun. It knows that you guys are participating and engaged and you stay with us. And we appreciate that to a person. And we take into consideration things that you say to us <clears throat> and post and send to us. Because it, it's about the community to us. And we, we try to run the community page with what is the best interest for the page, and the best interest for the town. We, some of you guys may not always agree with that, you know, too bad. Go start your own page with 11,000 people for six years and see how fun that is and making decisions. We we do what we feel is best for the page from keeping it out of trouble and for the community. And not everything's hunky-dory. Not everything's roses. We understand that. Sometimes you're going to have to post some bad stuff. <clears throat> but we try to stay away from the kid stuff, especially on investigations. Uh, one of the things that always irks me is a car wreck. So if there's a car wreck, just stay, hey, stay, hey, something very simple. Hey, Washington and St. Clair, stay away from there's a bad accident. You don't have to say it was a red Dodge van with three people and this and that. Don't do that. There's somebody out there, that could, that's their family. Let the, let the authorities handle it and take care of that. We're big on that. And sometimes we may come off as buttholes about it, but <clears throat> we stick to our guns on that. And I, and I take a ripping on some other pages every now and then, but hey, is what it is. We 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 do what we do because of you guys, and we appreciate each and every one of you. Because without you, this does not work. Ever. And cannot thank you enough. Because what we saw in Kentucky and what we were able to do it was large part thanks to you guys. 100% thanks to you guys. And there's people down there when we dropped those toys off and the supplies off that walked out of that room crying. And, and our guys were too. And when I started this almost four years ago, my whole gist was to I wanted to be able to communicate with you and you communicate with us. There's Kelly. Thank you so much, dear. And we always, my whole thing was we want to sit down and just chat and work things out. Sometimes it, it's, it, it leads to arguments, but we do a lot of good it, it, with community. So, <clears throat> God bless you, Mike. Appreciate what you, what you guys do for us. I, I don't ever take that for granted. Sometimes I'll come on here like this at night and just for lack of better words, a BS session because you guys want to know what's going on. We owe it to you. At least pop on here every now and then, even when we don't have anything going on. Say, hey, what's up? The master at it is Ramey. I, I, I try to follow that guy. He is our little IT guy, our little homeless vet, as we call him. Uh, that guy... You talk about caring for his community, and they in turn care for him. That he is a magician. I was just told to put my guitar up by my wife. Carrie, good call. Ramy can Ramy can hold a room of ten thousand people for eight hours. I don't know how he does it, but that guy that guy gives it his all, and uh, we love him. And I think right now he's in Vegas with his girlfriend. Over the holidays. Billy. Hopefully she'll throw that outside in the, in the yard. Have you been hitting old Milwaukee tonight? I'm just asking. B Billy. Oh, well. I enjoy doing what we do, and to to a person, we all do. Um, it's fun. I would pay for money. 
I would pay her money. That you would lose your beer, Billy's Beard Oil sponsorship, though, and that that would kind of be rough. How long have you been growing that? Since like sixth grade. Well, there's Jennifer. There's another kind soul. I, now I now I gotta I gotta spill the beans on her. She's on here, so I'm going to. One full year. I'm gonna spill the beans on her. We've not done the toy drive for a couple years. But as I always say, there's a few people that I always contact. There you go, Jay, exactly. Jay Beth. Always contact if I, if I'm in need. Well, this year, um, I'm gonna word this. There's four or five families that um, and you guys, a lot of you guys don't even know this, that we helped out in one way or another. A lot, nothing to do with Kentucky. This is right here in Martinsville. Um, separate from anything else. <clears throat> um, these are individuals that came to me and said, hey, I want to help out this family or I want to help somebody out. And then here's how it works. And, and I say this all the time. If an individual come to me and say, hey, I want to help a family out. Can you help me? And I'm like, sure. I'll get back with you. And no sooner do I say, sure, I'll get back with you. I get someone's message me, normally a single mom or a struggling family. It says, can you help us? It works that way every time. Jennifer has been one of my go-tos. Eight years, Jennifer, nine years for different events. And um, nothing but love for her and her family. I've known her a very long time. And there's another gal that I won't neither, and not unless they come on here. <clears throat> but... Jennifer helped out a family. Uh, another group of individuals helped out a family. One, four other individuals that I that I know helped out families this year that we connected with. And Jennifer is one of those special people. She was individual, and she will tell this. She will back the story up. The gentleman that contacted me three or four years ago on the night before Christmas Eve and said he needed help, and he was a Vietnam vet. He was an older man. Covering for his kids, kids, covering for his grandkids. And she was the gal that I called. And um, I think she went out. And she went out the next morning shopping. And I, I went and got stuff, and she went and got stuff. And she met me in the studio an hour before that gentleman did. And we sh we we um, wrapped up the gifts and gave them to that guy. That's the type of person Jennifer is. And there's no amount of words and thank yous that I can tell her for the things that she has done. And there's others. And they know who they are. Or stuff. And here's the funny thing. She doesn't even live in Martinsville anymore. She, has, she lives in the northern part of the county. But that's kind of special people. That's, that's how blessed I am to hang around people like that. Not necessary. I'm behind the mic though, so I get to. Because you're that kind of a you're that kind of an individual, Jennifer. And I thank God every day that that we are friends and um appreciate what you do for me and anybody else that asks you, especially this time of year. Just a special human being right there. And and I can't when I when I run across individuals like her, and there's another one just popped on Savannah. When I run across individuals like her, I am blessed because I, I I guarantee you I could call her up at Christmas Eve at four o'clock in the afternoon and say, and I probably have. She'll probably be like he has. Jennifer, I got a family. I need three kids. I need nine gifts. Can you help me? I've got forty bucks to my name. I'll buy two. Her next response would be. Where do you want to meet at? I'll have them. And I won't even tell you what she has going on in her life. 
but she would contact me back and take care of me. Nothing but love for you and your family, Jennifer. You know that. Appreciate all the work you do for us. And thank you so much. And again, this year, we didn't even do the drive. And, and once again, you're involved. And I, I tell people, I have people, I have people that I can contact. And uh, she is one of them. Every year, eight, nine years I've been doing stuff like this. And she's always been involved in one way or another. God bless you. And thank you. As I look right in the camera. Try to. I've got four screens up here. Savannah's another one of those people that helping out porch time and doing things just amazing work. Our community is full of them. And we appreciate each and every one of you. Cannot say that enough. With that, I've been on for an hour and seven minutes running my yapper. Oh, I'm off tomorrow. I get to sleep in. Woohoo. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, she'll be back on either tomorrow or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. But if not, you will hear me again on New Year's Eve. God bless you, Mike. Somewhere, I'm either going to probably hit all three, just pop in. Oh, and there's Billy Owens. Billy Owens is going to be live in studio New Year's Eve. At some point in time. But he will never. You too, Jay. He will never host a Christmas dance for me again. He will never DJ a Christmas dance for me. Good night, Diane. God bless you, JB. Appreciate you. Love you all. Have a wonderful Sunday evening. Not you, Billy. I hope Raccoon's getting here to bat him. He's going to come back with a bat joke. Oh, I'm going to go in there and let my hair grow. I'm going to rub some Billy's beard oil on my hair. and Maybe it'll increase the length overnight. You guys behave. Love you. We'll see y'all soon.